In this video, we'll show you how to combine values within a dimension. We've been asked to produce a visualization that shows both the average attendance rate by school type and the number of schools of each type for only the 2015 fiscal year. In addition, we only want to see elementary schools, senior high schools, and then a group together of all middle and junior high schools combined. To start populating data in the view, let's right click on school type under dimensions, hover over create, and click group. In the dialog box that appears, let's hold down the control key on our keyboard while we click on junior high and middle school, and then click on group. Click OK. Now you will see school type group is a new dimension in our data pane. Let's bring that into the visualization by double clicking on it. Now to count the underlying schools, we need a measure field. Knowing this particular data set, every school has a value for total mail, even if that value is zero. Let's drag total mail field from measures to columns, like so. Next, drag fiscal year over to the filter shelf, and let's select 2015 before clicking OK. And filtering once again, let's click, hold, and drag school type group to our filter shelf. And you'll notice that all school types are selected here. Let's clear these by clicking the None button and only selecting the school types that we want to see, those being elementary, our newly created junior high and middle school, and senior high. Click OK. Next, we need to change our default aggregation of sum for total male students to count. Doing so gives us a number of schools that fall under each school type. To do so, right click on the green sum total male pill in the column shelf, hover over measure sum, and click on count. Notice that our x axis title is not very clear, count of total male. We would like to change that to school count, which is what it is. To make that change, right click on count of total male and click on edit axis. Under title, let's replace the current verbiage with school count. Finally, drag attendance rate on over to the color marks card. We adjusted the default properties of this particular measure in an earlier video, so the values show up just how we want them to. In this video, we grouped together the middle and junior high school type dimension values in order to gain a cleaner view of the data. Thank you for spending time with EKSNH today, learning about the grouping feature in Tableau.